The Dome at America Center, previously the Trans World Dome, or the Edward Jones Dome, is the former home of the greatest show on turf, the St. Louis Rams. The Rams called the stadium home for exactly 20 years, from 1995 to 2015, before leaving and returning to Los Angeles. For such a new stadium opening in 1995, the Dome at America Center is truly a sad sight to see. In today's episode of the Archive of Everything, we're going to be taking a look at what happened to the Dome after the Rams left town. When the Rams moved into the Dome in 1995, they had a contract stipulation that the Dome would have to be in the top 25% of NFL stadiums or the Rams were free to break their lease in the stadium at any time or change to a year-to-year -year lease. The negative reception of the Dome as time went on didn't help boost it in its rankings, and by 2010, the Dome needed an update. New video boards and other modern features were added, but it didn't help. Fans in the media noted that it looked like a shopping mall and felt cramped and unexpiring on the inside. With these complications, St. Louis and the Rams entered into arbitration in 2013 to try and lay out a new plan for the stadium. St. Louis rejected the Rams' $700 million proposal that would have rebuilt much of the stadium. A sliding glass wall and skylights would have been added in addition to a massive center scoreboard. As time went on, negotiations and relations between the parties continued to rapidly deteriorate and the Rams finally announced plans to return to Los Angeles. It's now 2021, and it's been six years since the Rams left St. Louis. What happened to the Dome? Was it imploded? Did the new team move in? And did St. Louis finally renovate the stadium? Let's find out. The first incredible fact about the post-Rams Dome is the fact that St. Louis taxpayers are still paying for an empty stadium. The $144 million of debt will finally have been paid off at the end of this year. The outdated features and overall hatred of the design have people still calling for renovations to be made. The regional sports authority that runs the Dome estimates that it could cost as much as $300 million to update the stadium and try to get new events into the venue. These renovations have yet to take place. Football finally returned to St. Louis when the XFL's St. Louis Battlehawks kicked off on February 13th, 2020 when the Battlehawks played in front of an impressive crowd of 29,554 fans. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the XFL collapsed and the Battlehawks did with it. The Dome for a split second had a new team, and just like that, it faded away. That does bring us to today. The Dome in the past six years has lost two professional football teams, and the highlight of its past post-Rams days have been hosting a stop on the Taylor Swift Bad Reputation Tour. How ironic seeing that the bad reputation of this Dome really does equal that. A bad reputation. The Dome couldn't even hold onto its name. When the Rams left for LA, the Edward Jones Company immediately terminated its sponsorship. The Dome sits mostly abandoned, hosting the occasional concert or convention. The only sound is of people complaining about its poor aesthetics as they wander the empty, ghostly halls. With that, the post-Rams Dome at America's Center joins the Archive of Everything. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment future video ideas, and subscribe for more exciting videos. This, as you might expect, has been Matt from the Archive of Everything, and as usual, I'll see you all real soon. Have a good one, everyone.